guys welcome back to my channel it's Marisa how is everyone today it is another cloudy rainy day and it is cold so we are going to cozy up over here and see what I am doing today so I did not yet attach these to this canvas and looking at it I think it's really awesome um, but the only thing I don't like about it now these are my shock this is my chakra um, paintings and my project these are all the paintings and then the crown is sitting over there and you see some resin that I did as well so as per the video today I wanted just to do one last pour for these last um, chakra paintings because I'm kind of unsure about it. I mean, now that I put them on, I actually like it. But the only thing I don't like about it is how the white dried. And it's kind of bumpy here. I don't know if you could see that. Um, I'm not 100% digging that. See how it just dried very bumpy because that paint was just too thick and obviously it's my fault. And then over here, I'm not like 100% loving it um, with the white. So, I mean, maybe I could fix the white, but then I would possibly ruin the whole painting. I don't know. So, today I'm going to do one last pour and then choose between the two. If you guys want to sound off below, and after I'm done today <clears throat> with this pour, if you want to put in your little vote, maybe I'll put a poll. I don't know. But anyway, if you let, let me know which one you like better. Um, so you see this on there, like this is how it would be. Okay, now these are attached. I did it, it looks perfect. My, uh, you actually do see the phoenix head. I see the phoenix in here. That's actually cool. I was like, oh man, I saw the phoenix and now it's gone. But actually you can't see it. So this came out beautiful. I am in love with this. Very, very happy. And I'm actually, you know, when I came up with the idea to attach them, I was so unsure of it. And I really didn't want to ruin these beautiful panels. But now seeing them, it, I am so happy. I just went with my gut and did it. And it really, it, it was a great idea. And thanks again to Stacey Nicole from Arte for Arte Lovers uh, for doing this collab with me. I can't thank you enough. Uh, this is like, like I said, my first big like, series on my channel and it's coming to an end but yeah so I'm just gonna do and I'm not trying to prolong the series I just want I'm just so unsure about this painting because of the white and it is a uh, very obvious because it's on the edges it's not like covered up like let's say I made a little mistake in the middle and it was covered up by the panels I would have been like okay you know let's go for it but because it's very noticeable to me, um, I just want to do one more pour today and then choose between the two paintings and then that will be it. And then I will do the reveal with the whole project together. And then I'm going to hang them together in this space and I will show you guys. Alrighty. So very quickly, I just want to show you, I did use my Primal Flow, um, actually all of it that came in this month's box. Uh, last night, I stayed up very, very late, into wee hours in the morning, and I wanted to use up, um, it's called um, Art and Glow Resin, and honestly, it's really bad. Uh, the resin is not good and I couldn't even open up the cap the cap was stuck on both the hardener and the resin so I literally punctured a hole in the bottom of the uh, bottle and I just poured um, all the rest of it in my little silicone uh, measuring cups and I said let me just you know I wanted to try these molds these are the um, uh, double, well, devil eye, the evil eye, I call them, these are dragon eye uh, molds, 
And so I made all six of them. I used some neon pink, some gold, uh, the beautiful green. I used this, the uh, silver. What's it called? Yep, silver mica pigment. I used the neon pink uh, pigment. I even used some glass in there. I definitely used some glass in here. Definitely wear gloves. And I used these uh, silver glass chips in here, as you can see. And also in these horns here, I stuck them in. So I don't know how these molds are going to come out. I did use some of those eyes that it came with and we will see i didn't use all of them because as you know this resin wasn't the best and once it got cold it never even though i put it in a warmer um spot those like like microscopic bubbles never went away so it looks okay um mixed with the pigment you can't really tell and then once you torch it or put some heat to it the bubbles do rise up um especially this one and this one so many bubbles kept on coming up um, but then by the time I got to this one the, a lot of the bubbles dissipated and um, it kind of settled so that was good um, but I can't use it like I cannot use it uh, if I want to do like a clear resin piece with just some glass or something I definitely can't use it so unfortunately that resin um, was not the best but I do like the unicone. Um, there is another resin I wanted to try. I think it's called Liquid Diamonds. But, you know, one thing at a time. I want to use up my unicone first. And, yeah. So, tomorrow, actually, I will probably unmold these on the channel uh, for Valentine's Day. Because tomorrow, I am actually... It's a perfect day to do that. Because I am going to be doing the love um, mold some resin art um, tomorrow for Valentine's Day I think that's perfect All right, let me put that sucker back alrighty so whoo all right <laughs> I know I'm excited I don't know why anyway so today I'm gonna try a new it's it's a up oh, here come the ambulances why I don't understand. It's so weird. Every time, every day around this time, there's like an ambulance. Maybe it's a cop car. I don't even know. All right. Anyway, so today I'm going to use another 16 by 20. I have two more left, which is perfect. And I'm going to try. It's it is a ring pour, but is it's called Reco Ring. So basically, what that is when you do the ring pour and you uh, pour it out. You take a stick, a craft stick, and you kind of draw lines through it, and you actually wreck the ring, and then you tilt. So I'm going to try that today, and very quickly, I'm going to prime it with black. This is the Pouring Masters uh, black paint. I want to kind of use that up, and I, I think it's perfect just for like, um, to prime, and then just move the colors around. Alrighty. And these are really great for holding wine in a ring pour. So again, we're going to be doing these types of colors. So I just chose, because these are really great for holding a uh, wine. And these colors are beautiful. And they don't need to match. I mean, look, these don't match. And it's like really pops out. So we'll be doing the Artist Loft uh, premixed today. I don't have a lot of this stuff left. I never bought more. And I bought so much other paint that I never went back to it. Anyway, we're doing Artist Loft and Turquoise, Aqua Green, Violet. And then I'm using a little bit of Primal Flow, this blue. And I may add some Arteza. This is the, oh, Thalo Blue. I can't even see it because all my bottles are filthy. I am so sorry. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to try Wreck a Ring for the first time. And let's see what happens. So I will be back in a minute, guys.
don't go the same places that we used to go. We don't ride the same. No, we don't ride the same. We don't know the same people that we used to know. We don't vibe the same. No, we don't vibe the same. We don't show the same feelings that we used to show. You don't smile the same. You don't smile the same. We don't do the same things that we used to do. We don't vibe the same. We don't vibe the same. No, I ain't never. I ain't never, ever hung my head up. Same. We don't do the same things that we used to do. 
all my feelings, I'm focused, I'm open I want it, you need it, you leave it Don't make me pay for it Don't make me lose my mind And now I gotta keep on pushing While you're looking for another one to lay your head on But now I got sick and tired of sitting through you crying It's time, it's time guys I am back and another fire truck just passed by and I decided to re-record this little close up here because I just couldn't take it anymore anyway oh my god this came out really 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 perfect this is absolutely gorgeous um, really talk about record ring um, you know, the Pouring Masters. I knew there may be a little issue with the Pouring Masters only because that paint gave me some um, issues before. And I don't think it's the paint, it's the medium, which I did use, but actually it did magic. So thank you so much, Pouring Masters, for once uh, coming through. You know, I kind of lost any semblance of a ring whatsoever. But this came out just beautiful. It definitely looks like something from Deep Space. Um, if I do decide to use this guy for the um, chakras, um, I know exactly what to use this for. And that's going to be my next little mini-series on the channel. And I think I did mention it before. Um, I'm going to be doing, my next series is going to be, um, very sh quick, maybe two, three videos at the most, um, my little ode to Markiplier, and if you don't know who he is, he is a huge YouTuber, gamer, um, does so many other things other than just gaming, um, but anyway, he loves space. Like, he just gushes over space. So, if I do decide to use this guy for the chakras, I will use this as um, my background for the Markiplier uh, video series. But anyway, I don't know yet, but this is gorgeous. I don't even want to put anything on this. But anyway, this is so beautiful. I'm really, really, really happy with it, even though the rings are pretty much gone, but it is record ring, so I wrecked the hell out of it. Anyway, uh, let's get a quick close-up. And yeah, that is just, I love the colors. 
I love the colors I chose. I'm glad I decided the last minute to use some white in there to contrast against the black. And I just love this. Hopefully it dries as bright and beautiful as I left it. But the Artist's Artist Loft Premix usually does. Um, yeah, so usually, and also the Primal Flow. And uh, the Artez, I just use a tiny bit of that. So, this is how I'm going to be using it for the chakras, obviously, because it's going to be part of the body. So, yeah, there's my little coffee cup. Me and my coffee cup are back. Anyway, yeah, that is it for today, guys. So, listen, sound off below. Let me know what your opinion is of what painting I should use for my chakras. And I will definitely take it into consideration. I don't even know now. Um, again, like I said, I don't like the way those edges came out on this one. But I do love this painting. I actually do like the way the chakra panels look on it. But again, now I'm even more torn. Because now I feel like using this for Markiplier. But anyway, sound off below. Let me know what you think. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All my links are below. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.